So, your dairy farmer investment in Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, does it pay dividends? Is there anything different about Wisconsin cheese, Wisconsin dairy products? Boy, have I got a story for you. Fabulous Farm Bay Pam Yankee here at World Dairy Expo with Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. We're in the atrium of the Alliant Energy Center where we're talking to people, dairy farmers and consumers alike, about what the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, formerly known as the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, does with your checkoff dollars and how that money ultimately ends up coming back to you. Uh, Kirk Scott is along with us. He is the Director of Dairy Company Communications and that's another one of those titles that's very misleading. I want him to explain to you exactly what he does because he's got some astounding numbers, research that shows your checkoff dollars are making a difference in the impression of consumers and maybe more importantly the purchasing power. Yeah. Dairy Company Communications is the group that really partners with the dairy companies and marketers across the state to, re to try to increase the use of the various different programs that we have available to them. Yeah, and it is interesting, the numbers. Well, let's just start with something that many dairy farmers may have seen. Demos, mm -hmm. food demos. You say, oh, you're giving away food. Ah, it's so much more deep than that. Tell them why those face-to-face -face experiences are so important. Demos is probably one of our biggest programs that we have overall that we support the companies with. And we all go to the grocery stores on Saturdays or different times of the week, right. and we see those demos. We try the product. There's a couple of interesting things. We supported over 20,000 yeah. demos last year, which is a lot of demos. It's a lot of <laughs> cheese being tasted. But what we found through research is that consumers are nine times more likely to buy a product after they tasted it than they are beforehand. So it's really important to get that product in the consumer's mouth so they get a chance to taste it, they find out the quality and the tremendous flavor that we have and the exceptional cheeses in the state, and they put it in their shopping carts. You know, one thing I think you maybe need to consider, how competitive the grocery store retail space is. I mean, remember, Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, you're independent. There's, you're not a big multinational company that's got an advertising budget or anything like that. Your checkoff dollars are at work speaking on your behalf. And like you said, being able to tell the story of whatever you're sampling, uh, the farm families behind it, that makes a difference to today's consumers. It really does make a difference. And you know, Pam, one of the things that's so important for us is to get that identification, the Wisconsin messaging on the packages. It is a battle for retail space in the consumers, um, in the consumer marketplace. Yeah. And so getting the logo on there really impacts the sales. We've been able to show the 5.9% increase in sales if the pa the packages are identified as Wisconsin. Wow. Consumers recognize the quality and the flavor and the tremendous product that comes out of the state. We've got to make sure they can find it on the shelf. Yeah, and uh, uh, Kirk's division kind of makes sure to monitor how those uh, logos are being used, where they're being uh, displayed, and like you said, the follow-through is on the bottom line. It really is, and we, we take that very seriously. Yeah. And we make sure that the cheese companies are sourcing their milk from Wisconsin, yes. and they're identifying the product out there on the shelves. We want to try to drive more sales. It's driving retail sales because that's what drives the demand for Wisconsin milk. Now, you say, okay, well, what does this mean? The bottom line is it means that Wisconsin cheese is finding an increase in sales at a time when the market traditionally, I guess we'd say, is flat, Kurt, right? It's pretty flat. Overall, we see a little bit of growth in the industry overall, but it's pretty flat. But Wisconsin, on the other hand, is driving what growth there is. We're growing right now at about 5.4% um, versus the, the cheeses that are not Wisconsin identified are less than 1%. Wow. So all the growth we're seeing in the cheese industry right now or the cheese case is primarily driven by Wisconsin identified product. Right. And remember, all of this growth obviously fuels more cheese makers, more varieties, more volume being produced, and a better opportunity for you to market your milk. And like uh, we've heard from previous uh, master cheese makers, they want a high milk price because they get a high cheese price. And maintaining, I'll say, a bit of a premium for real Wisconsin cheese, that's your job. It really is. We want to make sure that the product, the, the important thing is that we're getting the value. Consumers yeah. see the value. They're willing to pay a little bit more for the product that they think is of higher quality. Absolutely. We're able to demonstrate consistently the Wisconsin cheeses deliver there. Yeah, well, that's that's what you need to know. Again, I know everybody's feeling a little uh, tight on the money side of things, but if you want to know how your checkoff dollars are being spent, this is a great place to ask straight to their face. Kirk Scott will tell you all about what his uh, dairy communications folks or dairy company communications folks are doing on your behalf, sampling for consumers, driving those sales, and seeing Wisconsin cheese grow while the rest of the industry, my friends, is flat. Just another message from World Dairy Expo with my friends from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin in the atrium of the Align Energy Center. I'm Pam Yankee.